boom, boom, boom. Sooners starting off early from the Heisman hangout this weekend. Got themselves a nice little commitment. So we got three-star safety out of Arkansas, Bauxite, Arkansas to be exact. Marcus Wembley went ahead and put out his commitment to Oklahoma. So we got to talk about why and what this means for the rest of the class going forward because I think we're going to start seeing a tsunami of commitments going through April, May, all the way into July, like we always do at Oklahoma. Before we do that, welcome to Unfair Sports. I'm your host, Jay. Thank you for pulling up to the channel. If you like the content, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Let's talk about Marcus Wembley and what he means to this class going forward because he's one of the safeties that Oklahoma has been going after. This athlete is, I mean, I said three-star and I always told y'all, be weary of the stars because when I tell you his offer list, you're going to be like, wait, what? How's he exactly? So let's dive into Marcus and uh, look at a little film at the same time. So as you look at Marcus here, he is a, like I said, composite three-star. He's a four-star with Rivals, which is interesting because Rivals has him as the number nine safety in the country, right? That's actually pretty darn high, right? So there's like a discrepancies and everything with him, but he's sitting here 6'1", roughly about, I think the last weigh-in I saw him was like at 200, 205 pounds. So he's like a nice, sizey dude. And what jumped out to me the most, first off, his offer list, right? So we're looking at, like I said, you see his numbers, see what he's ranked with everybody. But when I saw his offer list, so he's got offers from, of course, Oklahoma, which he's made his commitment to today. Wisconsin was after him and start going to the Big Ten in Utah. And you're like, okay, okay. Of course, in say Arkansas said they want to highlight the boy. But then you go in, you've got Ole Miss, Oregon, Tennessee. Then you got Michigan after him and Alabama. So when you look at the offer list, they got some pretty nice uh teams after young man, right? So that tells me that, oh, okay, so he may not have the highest ratings right now. And it's probably because, like most of these kids, they don't camp, right? Especially small town kids. And so seeing him and his capabilities, I think Oklahoma may have found themselves a little bit of a diamond out there at the safety spot. Now, granted, we know our safety room is going to be stacked for the next few years. And so you always ask the question, Jay, what does this mean with everybody else on the squad? And so, so far, he is our first quote-unquote safety to actually commit. Now, at his size and his strength, I mean, he's got videos on his on his Twitter account or X account, whatever you want to call it, uh, the X bird. We'll keep it at that. He's got videos on the X bird, him benching three fifteen eight seven, uh, six times, six or seven times. You got him squatting four oh five like eight times. You got him power cleaning almost three hundred pounds, and so he has a thirty eight and a half inch vertical leap. Right, so you've got yourself a genetic freak. Right, you got a dude that's putting up some kind of absurd i mean 38 is vertical it's kind of wild right when you, when you see it and then you add in like the lifting stuff right he's knocking up 315 like six seven times and by this point he's probably doing more i mean he's squatting 405 like hey, he's probably doing more and this is all older stuff on his on his x account which is in the description below yeah uh, uh, oklahoma might got themselves somebody that um it's gonna turn some heads a little bit later right uh, of course, went out with, oh, against Arkansas. Arkansas really wanted him, but, you know, he basically talked to, I was reading Colin Kennedy's article. He just dropped, tagged your boy in it. And it appears that Marcus really likes the coast, the culture in Oklahoma. Brent Venables and him are putting together something very special. Brandon Hall is doing some things with developing safeties, but the biggest thing is the culture. The, he wants to be developed on and off the field, and it appears Oklahoma's putting that together for him. So, ain't gonna lie. Got your boy excited that, um, yeah, we had to pull him in. So being able to snatch somebody from like Michigan and Alabama, you know what I'm saying, from from some of your top tier schools, Ole Miss, Tennessee, Oregon. I mean, I know Oregon's had him out a couple times, and so I actually thought that that was the school he's going to end up at, to be honest. I was like, he's going to either be Oklahoma or he's going to end up at Oregon because Oregon was really after him. And it's all because of him being such a genetic freak. And so when you have a roster of dudes that are freakishly um, athletic, all you got to do is tighten everything up, man. You hone that stuff in, dude could be a monster at this level. And so he's the first one here from this weekend. Hop in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. How y'all feeling about snatching somebody from Arkansas, right? He's one of two safeties we've been looking at at Arkansas. And I think we're looking at taking 
probably three in this cycle because I know we definitely want to get a quote unquote cheetah as well as an additional probably probably get two safeties in a cheetah because you know you're gonna lose Billy Bowman coming up right um you'll just be working through Robert Spears Jennings Jaden Hardy you still got uh Reggie Powers is gonna be a monster Peyton Bowen and so you at a certain point you're going to start running out of bodies. And so you want to make sure you have it, especially if you got someone at his stature, if you get him up a little bit in weight, he could probably play linebacker just because of how strong he is. Right. We talk about Lewis Carter and how much, how painful it is when he hits somebody. Imagine this kid, you know, and he's hitting the weights like that, put him in there with Schmitty. Whew. He could be a monster. So I look, we got the next commitment. That's number 11 for this class. That's going to keep moving us up the charts. Because we've got a busy, busy week, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a busy week of recruitment coming up. And I promise you more commitments are coming online. So talk to me. Hop in the comments. Love to hear from you all about Marcus Wimberly, how you feel about us snatching up him from Arkansas. If you made it this far, you like the content, hit that like button if you're new to the channel. Subscribe. Love for you to join his family, college football fans. Talking all you football, SEC, and college football in general. Had a blast doing it. So... I got another set of videos coming down the line. We'll talk about the Heisman Hangout tomorrow. Players are posting their stuff. There's a few players that jumped out to me that I think you all should know about. And so I'll make sure to put some together, some content together, and uh, we'll talk about it on Sunday. All right? We'll talk soon. Peace.